If you're not sure when to write the sharing rule and how to write the sharing rule in Salesforce, then in this video, I'm going to specifically explain you how and when to write the sharing rule. So let's look at the scenario, our scenario. I am working on an account object and I have a CEO and under that CEO, I have a CFO and COO as well. And what my specific goal is that CEO should be able to see the record of CFO. Okay. So I'll draw it. CEO should be able to see the record of CFO. Fine. CEO also should be able to see the record of CEO. Fine. Okay. But CFO should not be able to see the record of CEO. Same goes for CEO should not be able to see the record of CEO. Okay. And one more catch is that CFO should be able to see the record of COO. Okay. He should be, but COO should not be able to see the record of CFO. So in that case, sharing rules comes very, very much handy. Let me explain you how. So right now, when you are looking at it, see CEO should be able to see the record of CFO and CEO. Okay. CFO and CEO should not be able to see the record of CEO. COO, COO should not be able to see the record of CFO, but CFO only should be able to see the record of CEO. So let's look at the most strictest action that you have to do right now. I'm working on account object. So what is the most strictest action that uh, whatever records that are been owned by CFO, they should not be visible to both of them and COO should not be able to see the record of CFO. So the most strictest section is that I don't want to show the record via like via the role hierarchy as well as the across a role hierarchy as well. So in that case, I will keep the account OWD account, right? So the OWD of the account is private using this, these things are achieved, right? CEO, uh, CFO and CEO should not be able to see the record of CEO. COO won't be able to see the record of CFO, but the problem is CFO also won't be able to see the record of CEO, COO right now over here because the OWD is private. So at least three points are covered from our end, but one point is still left that CFO should be able to see the record of CEO. In that case is when you want to extend the functionality or extend the access across the roles, right? So these are not under each other, right? C under CFO, we don't have COO. Instead, they're across roles. They both are parallel to each other under the same level. In that case is sharing rules comes very much handy because if I want to extend the access, I cannot play along with OWD or I cannot do anything about it, right? If I want to extend the access, I have to go and write the sharing rules so that these both as these both are at the same level and they're parallel to each other. I cannot do anything about the sharing rules and anything like that. I have to write the, I have to write the sharing rule. I cannot do anything about the OWD and everything like that. I have to write the sharing rule. So in that case is when you have to give access across the roles, right? Under the same levels in that case, not under uh, also the, under the same level, let's say you have one more role under it. Let's say, uh, let's say manager, even if you want to go with to manager again, they're parallel to each other. Right. They, these rules are not under each other, but they're parallel to each other. If you want to CFO wants to see the record of managers or something like that. Again, you have to go and write the sharing rule for this as well. So basically when you're working across, most probably there, that's where the sharing rule comes into the picture. It can come into other situations as well, but the most probability is over here. So let's go ahead and write the sharing rule. Our goal is right now OWD is kept as private. I have kept already the OWD of account as private. So in Chrome, I'm logged in as Salesforce in five minutes user. Okay. And he is a COO. Okay. So I've created the record for him account for sharing rule, which is owned by him. And in edge, I'm logged in as Raju Srivastava user who is nothing but CFO right now. OWD is private. So whatever records that have been owned by uh, COO won't be visible to CFO. If I go right now, CFO is not able to see the records of COO, right? So this is where the sharing rule comes into the picture. I will go ahead for the same account object. I will go ahead and write the sharing rule. So right now we are looking at owner based sharing rule in another video. We'll look at the criteria based sharing rule. So we'll say share account data and rule type. Now there are three rule types, owner based, criteria based and guest and uh, guest user or access based on criteria. This is more of for an external user, but right now we will be working on owner based because what we are saying is that whatever records that are been owned by COO should be visible to CFO. This is owner based. There is no such criteria here. Okay. We will look into criteria, but the records owned by COO role CEO should be visible to CFO. So it's more of an owner based sharing rule. So let's select owner based sharing rule. And here we can select 
अकाउंट ओन बाय ओके अकाउंट ओन बाय सी ओ ओ ओके अकाउंट ओन बाय सी ओ सो आई एम गोइंग टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सिलेक्ट द रोल्स ओवर हियर बिकॉज वी आर वर्किंग विथ रोल्स इफ यू आर वर्किंग विथ पब्लिक रोल्स पब्लिक ग्रुप्स लाइक फॉर ऑफ स्पेसिफिक पब्लिक ग्रुप्स शुड भी शेयर विद सर्टन रोल्स और सर्टन पब्लिक ग्रुप्स यू कैन सिलेक्ट पब्लिक ग्रुप्स बट राइट ना फॉर आवर कंडीशन वी आर यूजिंग रोल्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट रोल्स ओवर हियर एंड वट आई वॉन्ट इज दैट हुज रिकॉर्ड वी वॉन्ट टू शेयर ओके सिलेक्ट विच रिकॉर्ड टू बी शेयर बेसिकली एंड वी वॉन्ट सी ओ ओज रिकॉर्ड टू बी शेयर सो आई विल सिलेक्ट सी ओ ओ हियर ओके एंड द नेक्स्ट कंडीशन इज दैट होम टू शेयर विथ एंड वी हैव टू शेयर इट विद द रोल that is nothing but cfo okay so whatever records that have been owned by coo we want to share it with cfo okay next is it's asking about what kind of access do i want to give either we can give read or read, on, read only or read write okay right now i'm going to give read write and let's click on save so let's go through uh, again by this sharing rule which is a owner based sharing rule so if i go to the sharing rule again the sharing rule says that records that are been owned by coo will be shared with cfo even though the owd is private and the access that will be given will be read and write this is these are just name you can give anything that you want to so previously i was not able to access this record as uh, this is a coo's record salesforce in five minutes user right so i will go ahead and again refresh this page and now you can see i am able to access this record using the sharing rule so this was all that i have to show in this video if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel